Welcome back to Kenshi, everyone's favorite show. The team's here fit and ready to go. Some of you pointed out that it would be more law friendly if Jean-Claude Van Damme changed his fighting style from swords to martial arts. Of course Sensei took this change in consideration, giving his good old trusted G-Pants with a martial arts bonus of plus two to Van Damme. And since Beep wants to become the strongest swords fighter known by man and beast, it makes sense to give him one damn sword. He won't need that now, because from now on one damn will fight with his fists and manly legs. Last time we've learned the hard way not to mess with more enemies than our squad can handle. One enemy at a time should do good. Oh shit! Fogmen are the worst. It's just that it's a bit unpleasant to fight a bunch of naked dudes, you know? Luckily we are close to the city. The guards can help us here. We also learned from the last episode that we would do ourselves a big favor if we had some decent armor. But we need more money. With money we can buy ourselves some proper equipment too. And the only way to get some right now is by laboring at the mines. It's hard and not very profitable, but it's honest work. <laughs> There's a Fogman attack at the city gates at least every five minutes. That's crazy! And if you get caught by one of them, they immediately tie you up on a pole and eat you alive. Oh, look at this one! This Fogman's still alive! The team's trying to help One Dam and kicking that cripple's ass, but I wanna let One Dam handle this by himself. So, you know, he can uh, get some martial arts skills points, you know? By kicking this cripple. <laughs> oh no, go away! God damn it! The guard's gonna take him! Or not? Oh, interesting. That's actually a fog prince. All the other fogmen are just normal fogmen foot soldiers. But this one right here seems to be special. I've got a brilliant idea. Let's heal this prince up a bit. Maybe we can do some kind of uh, interrogation. Maybe we can use him as a political prisoner and demand peace between Mongrel and the fogmen. Nah, let's use him as a punching bag for Mr. Van Damme. <laughs> It ain't wrong to use a cannibal as a punching bag, is it? We just have to be very careful with this kind of sports activity. As soon as the prince goes into a critical state of health, we should let him rest until he's fully recovered. So he can receive even more punching! Look at this, I just found another Fogman prince. Huh? What the hell? I can unequip his head directly into my inventory. Amazing! Unfortunately, he is dead now. The average cell value for a Fogman head lies at 6000 cats. That's pff, incredible. That's awesome. That's a lot of money. If I collect a bunch of those heads, we can make some good money out of this. A way more better way of making money in comparison to mining iron. It's a faster way, not safer way of making money. We still have to fight them and lure them back to the city guards so they can help us fight them. <laughs> Look at all this money! Now we can party all night! Yeah! Or even better buy some backpacks for our crew. Since Beep has no armor and no flesh on his bones, I was so kind buying him a very good black plate jacket and shorts. Now he got some decent protection against the horrors of the waste. <laughs> Look at the size in comparison to this dude. Dude, Beep's like a puny little cicada. That's cute. Beep, we are now bounty hunters, searching for heads to make a good profit out of it. And that's what we did for a good whole hour, until we got tired again. Grinding just ain't our style, you know. We need the adventure, we need the adrenaline. Beep does not need more adrenaline. We are lusting for more than just prince heads. We need action! Beep prefers to live. This will be so much fun. Don't worry Beep, there's a cool place I'd like to go to. I've heard that we can find some decent loot somewhere around this area. Let's go guys. Our group got some decent protection now. Therefore the chances of surviving should be very high by my calculations. Two hours later. Oh my! That looks legitimately very spooky. What are those? Arms. Obedience. That's an interesting name for a location. Hold on a bit. We even got here some iron spiders. Beep does not like skeleton arms or spiders. Don't be such a pussy. We're just taking a look around. If it gets too steamy around here, we can just leave anytime. Wow, that looks amazing. An ancient building. Maybe there's something inside. 
That door here seems to be locked and from the looks of it, I can tell it's heavily protected. Someone wanted to make sure that unwanted people stay outside. Van Damme's the only person who can unlock this gate with a chance of 20%. <laughs> Peep looks really cool all in leather and his funny bamboo head. He's real badass now. Here we go, we're inside. Hold on a second. Let's see what we got here. Oh no, more of those cyber spiders. Smells like trouble. <laughs> Maybe if we could lure one of them out first, we can kill it with some sneaky tactics. Oh man, they're faster than I thought. But if we run away from it after a hit fast enough, we can outsmart it. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! 130 damage! With one single hit, this thing just puts Sensei Beep unconscious. With one single hit? There's no way we can defeat this thing. Run guys, Sensei's awake already, but his leg is in very bad condition. That thing is a killer machine, it attacks so fast. Maybe Blade can distract the spider shit while Van Damme heals our comrades. Oh no, f Holy shit! The thing is a monster! Blade is down. <laughs> Sensei always tries to get up, but fails and falls down again. There's no time. Run, my people. Run. Oh god! <laughs> this is the goddamn end! There's no hope for Sensei. I think he's dead. If Sensei loses all his blood, he will die. There is absolutely no one here that could help him, you know, help him up again. He needs to get fixed immediately. Oh man. <laughs> Who's that dude? Man, dude, what's up with your body? Everything okay with you? Of course you must join me. <laughs> oh my god. Sensei, who stretched you to this extent? Oh, beep! <laughs> He's awake! Fast now, rescue your old man friend. Oh man, I can't believe it! Beep, you are a true hero! Ah, this is so beautiful. Our little friend here is our savior, but I think Sensei's arm can't be reattached again so easily. Well, Sensei's just with us to carry a rice bag anyway. Beep, I love you. If it wasn't for Beep, everyone would have died. But not today. What do we say to death? <laughs> Not today. Okay. Let's bring them back a bit, away from the spiders. Now we wait until everyone is able to walk again. Let's not forget to put this thing into Sensei's bag. Alright Beep, now we got some time for ourselves. But we have to be very careful. Beep's sneaking skills are not the best. Those spider shitheads are chill as long as we stay outside. I'd love to loot those crates. There must be something very interesting inside. But I can't risk anything while everyone else is down. The design for those spiders look cool though. I assume those are even more spiders, just not activated yet. Scary. The second floor does not look any better. And the third floor... <laughs> Forget it. There are spiders everywhere. We can't even fight against one of them. I don't know what we can do, Beep. Or we could train your sneaking skills. Yeah, we are going to make a real ninja out of you. Or a thief, I don't know. All right, everyone's up again. Let's head home now. That was enough trouble for a day. That place here is crazy. I think those things in the ground those are robots and you can only see their arms right now. Imagine deep down somewhere inside the ground there must be the rest of those robots. I just hope no one boots them up again. This ground is solid metal, totally smooth. Oh, this is very interesting. I thought the ground's just dirt, but that's all metal. Crazy. Sensei is such a wise man. I'm so glad he didn't die back there. But enough of this place, let's head home. Here we are again, back at Mongrel. Luckily there's a shop here in the city where they sell uh, robotic limbs. Maybe we can steal a nicely looking metal arm for Sensei. There we go. This one will do just fine. It bothers me a bit that I call Sensei and Blade by their given names, but their in-game names do not display accurately. So, since I've got quite a lot of money from all those headhunting, I'm going to change their names at the Thieves Guild. 
oh look at this we cannot only change their names but we can also change a little bit their appearance i think i will straighten out sensei's back a little bit you know just a tiny little bit so he doesn't look like a banana anymore everyone's happy now blade is blade sensei is sensei Everyone's happy except for Van Damme, his arm stuck in his head again. I think next episode we will try to leave Mongre and search for another city to explore. Maybe we can even find some more companions. But that's for it now. Hope you enjoyed the episode of Kenshi. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, check out our Discord and Patreon and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.